Are you ready? Amsterdam, here we go. Oh my god, hey. Hello, stagey fam. My name is Mickey Joe Theatre. And I'm Aaron James. And as you may have noticed, we're in an airport right now. Yeah. Uh, so we're flying to New York in five days. Mm -hmm. And I like to be early, but this is ridiculous. Uh, yeah. <laughs> because we're not actually flying to New York today. No. We are flying to Amsterdam to go and see the UK tour of the musical Six. But I guess it's the UK and international tour, It is, right? it is. It is very much the UK slash international tour because yeah. they're doing the Netherlands and Switzerland and Germany and we're going to see them in Amsterdam because yeah. why not? Because absolutely why not? I've seen Six in so many fun places. These t-shirts are from when we saw it at Hampton Court, Court Palace. Um, I've seen it at the Arts and the Lyric and the Vaudeville in the West End. I've seen it on tour at um, uh, Kingston and also the Ivonano in Guildford and I've seen it at the Edinburgh Fringe in a cow. But today this may become the coolest place I've ever seen six because we're going to go see it at the Delamar Theatre yeah. in Amsterdam, comma, the Netherlands. Yeah. I'm excited. Um, hopefully you are too because yeah. you're going to come with us. And we've never been to Amsterdam before. Never been to Amsterdam and we're going there to see six. Why would you not? So come with us to Amsterdam to see six. So we're here in Birmingham International Airport. Yeah, Birmingham International. This morning, um, they've announced our gate. So we are heading over. We're flying with EasyJet this morning. Haven't done an or anything because just we're a short good. flight. It's a short amount of time. And it's super early. Mm -hmm. um, I went to, I went to Starbucks. Yeah, had a banana. That's been my breakfast this morning. And that is our plane over there that's going to take us to Amsterdam. How exciting. If you want to know how smooth this landing was, it was so smooth I barely noticed and I forgot to film it. That's, that's my bad. But we're in Amsterdam now. How exciting. Saying everyone thank you for flying American. Except we didn't. We were an easy jet. So we've just gone through arrivals. Yeah. Um, and we grabbed single-use train tickets uh, to get us to Amsterdam Central, which is like a 35-minute walk away from the Delamar, but it gives us a good excuse to explore. Because yeah, we have both never been before. We've never been to Amsterdam. No. We've never been to the Netherlands. Um, so, good chance to explore before the show, because we have a little bit of time. It's like 11 a.m. now, and the matinee is at 2. So... That's the plan. Waiting for the train. <gasps> the train is moving. Perfect timing. Okay, we've made it out of the train station, which is behind us. That's Amsterdam Central Station. And here we are in Amsterdam. Actually in uh, the city centre, what I assume is the city centre. Uh, and now we're going to spend the next couple of hours slowly heading down. Uh, we're going to go and get some lunch. You found some gluten-free places last night yeah. on like TikTok? I think so, yeah. Nice. Um, and then uh, making our way towards the Delamar Theatre where sex is happening. So exciting! How fun! Exploring a completely new place uh, that we don't know that much about. No. We don't speak Dutch. No. As it happens. Um, but we're, we're just here to have some lunch and see a show. What could go wrong? Already lots of good water content. I'm expecting many canals today. I grew up by the beach, so I love to see water at the best of times. This is, this is pleasing to me. 
We have barely made it away from the station before I have turned around to say, look how beautiful this is. Many, many canal boats, people doing canal tours, and if we were here for a little longer and didn't have theatrical plans, maybe we'd do the same. So this, uh, just walking down from the station, is the famous fries place and these are all of the people waiting to get fries at the famous fries place. It is also like coming up to half eleven and I am not like fries hungry yet, but I mean they look nice. Still heading down from the station, but we've yeah. we've ventured one street over through a really pretty walkway. Yeah. And this feels this feels more like local architecture and less like a Venus flytrap for tourists who are looking for fries and cheese and clogs and tulips that aren't real. Explain that one to me. Okay, having been wandering around aimlessly, we now have a purpose. We are going to look for somewhere to go to the toilet, and then I think we're gonna go get lunch at a place called Croc Madame, uh, which is one of the places that Erin found. We thought about getting pancakes, because we like Dutch-style pancakes, but we get them pretty often in London, which are yeah. probably not as good or authentic, but if we were here for more than one day, then uh, we would go to multiple places. But I think for today, we're gonna get lunch at Croc Madame. This is a really big lift. <laughs> Uh... <laughs> so this is not a trick of perspective like the lift from before. This table is also really long. Eh. <laughs> so we are both having the Croc Madame from Croc Madame. There you go, looking lovely. Everything here is gluten free. And we've also got, if we can see all the way to the middle of this needlessly long table, uh, this sort of almondy cake situation to share afterwards. Yum, 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 yum. Look at that. Huzzah! Lunch done! I thought that was very nice. Yeah, it was really nice. It was really nice. Uh, it took like 20 minutes for the yeah. sandwiches to arrive, so if you're in any kind of a rush, which thankfully we are not, um, uh, just something to be aware of. Because it's, it's a small it's a small team, so I think when they have takeaways and people in. Yeah, that's worth saying as well. You can either sit in uh, and eat the stuff, or you can order to yeah. go. Uh, but really nice, and like the best gluten-free stuff, you wouldn't have known that it was. And it, no, and it was really nice and quiet and calm, mm -hmm. which is always nice. Nice vibes, nice vibes. Yeah. Um, so now we're heading back where we were briefly heading before, and we're just gonna head towards the Delamar Theatre and yeah. see what are the sights we see along the way. I need more canals. <laughs> I'm ready for more canals in my day. It's worth saying as well, we're still going over to the theatre like really early, probably still earlier than we need to. Mm -hmm. uh, and you could definitely do more touristy stuff or more sightseeing or some shopping or whatever. Uh, before seeing the show, if you arrived at a similar time of day to us, uh, passing a Dunkin' Donuts. Madness. We only have like one. We don't have that many in the UK. I think there's only literally one in the UK. Anyway, <laughs> that's fun. Um, but the reason we're going over so early is because we don't know what else they have at this theatre and we'd like to explore. Like, is the merch just the same as the oh, no. UK tour? Are they doing anything like fun and themed? We don't actually know what the traditional theatre is here. No. So will it be open? Will it even be open? Yeah, it's open from midday. Okay. Opens from midday on matinee days and I think from five for evening performances, but check that on their website. Walking through a large square, they just rang the bells. And last time I commented on a statue, you all made fun of me in the comments because it turned out to be a character from Zelda in Brazil. And so I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna comment on this one other than the fact I think it looks nice. Are those birds? Yeah, those are birds. And then guys with butts, but you can't, you can't see the butts from here. So, oh, you can see the lion butt over there. Let me zoom on. It's a curiously well-sculpted, maybe those are meant to be the legs. I don't know. 
Okay, I may have to Google this because plot thickens on this statue from the front. We have dogs, um, as pigeons are involved, uh, but they're not meant to be, and woman holding baby, and also, is that like a cornucopia? I don't know what she represents. Lots going on here. So this seems to be a little guide here uh, to some of the buildings in the square. And this is that one, National Monument. And you could very easily stop here and try and pick up all the others. I think that one there is this building. That looks to have the same sort of shape and skyline. And then we've got, ah, Grand Hotel. That's this that's behind there. This one here. Oh, that's this. That's this, that's the department store. What's this one? Where is it? Who gets the points? Who can see it first? I can't. Um, oh, it's that, um, no, is that what it's on the top? ABN, AMB, yes, that's that one. Time update. It is 12.50, so one hour and 10 minutes. My God, that shop smelled good. Wow. Mm -hmm. Sorry, fully distracted from whatever I was saying. Good grief, they make some <coughs> lovely sugary things uh, here. Their emergency services sound exactly the same as in France. Oh uh, yeah, if you can hear that. Um, we're hearing a Dutch siren. Oh, it's getting closer. Passing a subway. Lots of local flavor. Hotel Des Arts, which has a gift shop attached with lots of Moomin things. We're not staying over on this occasion, but were we? This seems like our kind of location. So we're not walking this way, but over in the distance, I believe that says National Opera and Ballet. Oh, a bell is ringing. So many bells here. So many bells in the city. Is that up there? Yes. That's telling us it's one o'clock. One hour to the show. We haven't found the theatre yet. Very intrigued by these little Sylvanian families type mouse characters going on here. That one's an ally or a member of the community. Love that for them. There are, it is worth pointing out, bicycles everywhere. We have been ever so slightly delayed by pausing to take cute pictures by canals because on this particular last stretch towards the theatre we're passing many scenic canals and I'm sure that the locals here probably find it as silly as we think it is when people take photos with like generic London telephone boxes but it's nice that it's not like one obvious landmark where everyone is crowding that then becomes this like yeah. big spot because there's so many canals that there's just like so many photo locations and they're all surrounded by bicycles and flowers and boats and amazing architecture so they're all great photo spots yeah. example very cute spot on the left that's an Amster tram in Amsterdam very cute spot on the right again not walking over this way but from a distance I spy something called the city theater oh, so that appears to be another one. And so it transpires is the building I'm stood right underneath. As I told you that, this is the International Theatre Amsterdam. Um, they have a play at the moment, or coming up soon I should say, it looks like called Crash Test Ibsen. Um, but a beautiful building, look at that. And then just around the corner, I don't know if you can see it yet, was a sign that said, hey queen. And it says six is sold out. We're gonna cross the road, but it's over there. Welcome to the History Remix. That's cool. That's better than they have in the West End. And here we are, the Delamar Theatre, where Six is playing, and it is sold out. It's got a sold out sign there, just for the, in I don't know if that's for today's performance, the entire run. There were barely tickets left All last right. time I checked. Whole run, there you go. Got some nice signage here. As a reminder, this is the UK and international touring cast. Fun, fun, fun. Aaron James grabbing the social content there. And we have, let me just show you this over the other side, a purple carpet. Love that for them, love that for us. 
Okay, we're at the Crown Jewels Official 6 merchandise stand, and boy is there a lot of stuff. Let me show you the prices first of all to give you an overview of what they have here. We have two different t-shirt prices, hoodies, baseball caps, beanies, socks, tote bags, backpacks, blankets, key rings, magnets, and a crown ornament. And then over the other side, mug, drinks bottle, fan, glitter pin, glitter pins, set of six, costume pin, lapel pin, live on tour, crown necklace, the London cast recording, the brochure, and a paper carrier bag. That's everything you get at six. Let me see if I can show you what they look like. That's the tote bag there. You can see two different t-shirt designs, plus the beanie and the cap. Different t-shirt designs and then some little trinkets here. Lots of little bits and pieces there. The shoes are cute. Oh, and the boots. Oh, look at those Gabriella Slade boots. That's very cute. Okay, we are queuing for merch. I have a lot of six merch already. It's worth noting, I have like the magnet and a gym bottle that I don't think they make anymore. Aaron's gonna get the live on tour lapel pin. I'll remind you, I've seen this show maybe 20 times. Um, and I might get the socks. I feel like I need some sick socks in my life. Um, so I'm gonna give you an overview of the other merch on the counter and you can pause accordingly. I'll explain what this is in a minute, because it's cool. Got a program there. Got these little keyring bits and pieces. Crown ornament, water bottle, socks, mugs, and then that's the fan you can sneak a peek off through there. So this snack boxing um, is little snack boxes that you can get, presumably like pre-show dining, I guess. I spy little bottles of things in there, but that's fun. That's fun. We love like I don't know if it's themed in any way at all. I feel like this is giving you a sense of what you're gonna get in that snack box. It's fun, I think that's fun. Here is the cast of today's performance. If you know the show, you know that uh, there are alternates that go on regularly um, and you're very unlikely to see the same combination of queens twice. That's who we have at today's performance. And also, I didn't even know this, the queens will be back in 2024 and you can book now. I'm great at languages. Um, there you go. You may, maybe you can even scan the QR code off this video if you want to book tickets. How helpful am I? You're welcome. It's like the theater cafe diner in here. We've got queens on the tables. Look at that, got an Aragon table. I've shown you the Berlin. There's a Cleves table here. This is fun. Why don't we have this in the West End? Because we don't have nearly this much foyer space, that's why. And I know they don't on Broadway either. We are next to, by the way, the Royal Foyer, where we have some more lovely photos. Shout out to Pamela Wraith, the amazing photographer who takes the photos for six. She is a brilliant uh, creative and also a friend. So it's really cool to see all of her photos all displayed here. And also, look at these chandeliers. Those are beautiful. Someone's using the table. I'm going to give you a a zoom on Erin Caldwell as Jane Seymour. Now we're queuing for a photo wall. You'll notice people are kind of lightly themed in their outfits, loving that. Next to the Catherine Howard table. I love these. Okay, thanks. Okay. They also have this fun cocktail bar, which is offering limited edition six cocktails. Now they do sound delicious. I don't know about the theming necessarily. In the West End, you've been able to have, I don't know if they still do this at the Vaudeville actually, but you used to have themed cocktails to each queen. Um, but here you can have Virgin Mojito, Berry Mojito, or a Porn Star Martini. Another cool little photo op there with the little six lights. They're very cute. Honestly, it's kind of a shame that Six is only here for a brief period because this is one of my favorite theaters to have ever seen Six in. I think it's working really well here and it's a great space for it. It's modern yet stylish and classic, but like the red carpeting down the stairs felt very regal and those chandeliers and they have the space um, to do lots of fun stuff. So yay for Six at the Delamar. Something to note if you're coming to see it here. What I'm showing you is the beginning of the queue going out of the toilets for the women's toilets uh, and the women are also using the stalls in the men's toilets very diplomatic and probably a largely female audience uh, but there are now queues coming out of both toilets and it's about uh, 15 minutes before the start of the show so plan your arrival accordingly I'm not entirely sure I think this is like stalls right that's how I'm interpreting that again rudimentary translations here we are yes yeah, yep yeah, those words match but we're in row nine. Oh. I, oh, maybe that's 
row. Oh yeah, read. Not yes, yes. This way. Well done. Thank goodness, Aaron James is here. My love affair with this venue carries on. These red velvet seats with the red velvet floors, and look at the cool lighting down the sides. I don't know if it's reading purple on camera, but it's absolutely purple. So cool, so modern, so trendy, but classic. So to give you a sense of the scale of this theater, this is the stalls area, and then we have one circle level up there. Can't quite tell how many rows, but it's a pretty big space. And look at that starry ceiling. And now the view you've all been waiting for. This is, of course, the stage. Got a big curtain on it at the moment, so it's not gonna look like much, but in a few minutes, I'm sure you will be seeing the Mega Six. I hope you're excited because I'm very excited. Woo! So following up on the cast board earlier, Ellie Jane Grant here is one of the alternates who is gonna be on for Anna of Cleves. And then Tamara, who was fantastic in Lyft at the Southwark Playhouse, thrilled I'm getting to see her in this show. Uh, she's another alternate and she's going to be on for Catherine Parr. I am very excited. Are you excited, Aaron James? Yes, I'm very excited to see the tour screens. Have you ever seen it on tour before? No. I didn't see the tour at all. I love that your first time seeing it on tour is in Amsterdam. Is in Amsterdam. People are really excited about it here. Yeah. Just took a photo with someone who recognized me from YouTube. So lovely to meet you. Thank you for saying hello. Um, and some other people loved that we had six merch on. Yeah, already. And so we're chatting to them about like where we'd seen the show before. Yeah. Um, they've just done the little six minute call announcement and there was a very audibly excited response to that. So I'm really excited not only to see the show but to experience this audience's reaction yeah. to it. Will every joke land? What will their favorite number yeah. be? What's gonna happen? Oh, I'm seeing billowing curtains. That means the queens are taking the stage. So I'm gonna put my camera away and I'll see you again for the Mega Six. Oh my gosh.
Okay, so we're going to crown the seventh queen, and they are one of you in the audience! <laughs> the show, so can I have a drum roll please? If you are sat in seat six and row, no, no I've done that wrong, in row six, seat ten, give us a wave! Oh my god, hey, so I am now back in the UK after our brief journey to Amsterdam to go and see the international tour cast of Six, and we had a really great time. It was so cool getting to experience a Dutch audience seeing this show and loving this show and laughing at everything and applauding like they were having the best time. It was such an overwhelmingly positive response. It was so cool getting to see this show that I've had the chance to watch develop and go from strength to strength and come from these really humble beginnings becoming this bona fide global sensation, this international hit. And I couldn't resist the chance to travel around the world with it. So very glad that we made the impulsive decision to go and see Six in Amsterdam. And glad I got to see this tour cast as well. There will probably be a review video coming to my channel. I know some people have asked, um, just giving you kind of like my thoughts on this cast. I might talk a little bit more about the experience in that theatre as well, because as you saw in that video, I really liked that venue. The Delamar Theatre in Amsterdam is super cool. Now, if you are a Dutch fan of the show and you didn't get a chance to see it on this particular tour stop, it's coming back in 2024. And from what I understand, it's coming back to a different theatre as well. It's not going to be at the Delamar. So scan that QR code from earlier in the video or have a look online and see if you can get yourself some tickets for next year, because I think it's going to sell out again. Kudos to Six. Yay, Six. Apologies to anyone who did want to say hello while we were in Amsterdam. We really weren't there for very long and it was principally just a C6, which I know that might seem crazy, but you know, that's the kind of thing that we do. And for anyone who is planning to go and travel from the UK to Amsterdam and go and see the show there, I have a feeling I won't be the only one making the pilgrimage, the theatrical pilgrimage, then I hope this has been a useful resource for you. And if anyone has seen it while it's in Amsterdam, let us know in the comments section down below. Or are you planning to go and see it soon? Or will you be catching it on one of its other newly announced European tour dates? The show is also going to be visiting Switzerland and Germany as part of this international tour. Cannot wait for those audience members to experience this amazing show as well. But thank you so much for watching this special travel vlog. I don't think there was anything else I was meant to tell you. Oh wait, did I not? Hold on. Did I forget to mention the other thing? You know what, we might have to go back to the beginning of this video because I feel like there's something I haven't been telling you. <laughs> Okay, so we're here in the airport and we just told you that we are flying to Amsterdam to go see Six, which is true, but there's also something that we haven't told you because that's not really everything that we're doing today. For 10 more seconds, I'm Mickey Joe Theatre. Oh my god, hey, thanks for watching, have a stagey day. Subscribe! <laughs>